Today we are going to take you guys on a tour of our school's dormitory, also called Kwanaksa, founded in 1975. Let's go! We can take the Kwanak Kongi bus from Naksongde to get to our dorms. The purpose of Kwanaksa is to provide students with affordable and accessible housing. Currently, we have over 5,500 residents with over 20 buildings. Our first stop is the Global Residence Halls Building 915 and 916 where a lot of our international students stay. The first room structure available is the double room where two people share one room. There is one bathroom and shower room but two separate beds, desks, and closets. The second room structure available is the room with four single rooms where each person has one room to themselves but share one shower room and bathroom. Each floor is equipped with a laundry room, a seminar room, or lounge for the students to use. This is the Blue Pal Cafe where many students go to study. The CU convenience store is a great place to buy food. CU also offers living appliances like brooms or trash cans students can use. But keep in mind that the store closes at midnight and you need an app to open the store after that. There is also a quizness next door if you want a quick fix like a sandwich. This is the multi-purpose room. A lot of students come here to drink, hang out, study, talk, and more. If you want a quieter place, there is also a smaller and quieter next door you can go to. Our final facility is the gym. Students here can sign up for classes like Pilates. Now let's move on to our next building. Next, we have buildings number 921 through 926, which are some of the main buildings for undergraduate students in SNU. Each series of buildings in SNU have a distinct system and structure of rooms. One unique part of the 92X buildings is that there are two people to a room, as well as a shared bathroom through a corridor system. There is also a common room for group activities, as well as a reading area, washing room, and cooking areas. One interesting part about the dorms is that they don't enforce a curfew. Living costs vary depending on which type of room you get allocated to. However, they average to a low cost of $600 per semester. Another one of the main buildings of SNU are the 919 buildings. Security is tight, just like all other dormitory buildings. Nine one nine is divided into four main buildings, each labeled A through D. A and B are for female students, and C and D are for male students. The nine one nine buildings are rare in that they are structured like the typical apartment building, with two people to a room and three rooms in a single apartment. Each room is equipped with two beds, a closet area, shelving, and a desk, along with many storage units within the room. Another unique part of the units is that they have a living room, giving the atmosphere of a real household. A small but spacious bathroom is installed within each unit, and the six members will share this area. There is also a gym area within the 919 building with a minor added cost. The first floor of 919B is connected to one of the main cafeterias of the dorms. There are two main cafeterias in the dorms, one being the 919 cafeteria. They are open seven days a week, each for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, each meal averaging around $4. Next to the cafeteria is a small convenience store, where small snacks and household goods can be purchased. After the dinner session, the area turns into a study area, open all night for students. Another one of the main cafeterias is the Our Home Cafeteria. There are a variety of meals offered, each meal averaging around $4 to $5. The cafeteria is also connected to Cafe Grand, the largest multi-purpose cafe in the dormitory. Finally, let us show you the various amenities. Another fact about the dormitory is that it holds various annual events ranging from mini concerts to colloquiums to cultural events and exhibitions. It also provides its own counseling program and volunteer services for students who need emotional support. Dormitory clubs, including table tennis club, soccer club, and baseball club, 
or promote interruptions among residents. Buildings 900 to 906 were built to accommodate graduate students in 1975. However, 906 is the only building that provides rooms to undergraduate students during the semester. The following is the room structure in building 906. Different from other buildings, it provides a double room with a private bathroom in each room. There's also a shared cooking area and a washing room in each floor. In fact, 906 is located closest to the bus station to Seoul National University subway station. This is called the Residence Hall's three-way intersection. The bus 5513 will take you to the Seoul National University entrance station. If you want to go to the Nakseong Day station, you can ride Kwanakongi till the last stop. If residents are planning to go somewhere inside school, you can ride the school shuttle bus that is free of charge. Thank you for coming to our dormitory tour.